Good afternoon, it's Mark here from High Rise. So I thought I'd record the first video in the questions and answer series that I kind of introduced a couple of weeks ago. Uh, last week we were away on our team retreat to the Italian Dolomites. Uh, you see a blog post about that coming up very shortly. Um, but the first question that I thought we could answer is one that is common in WordPress that gets asked quite a lot. Um, and that is that if I'm using a custom post type and I have set the post type to have an archive, then that has a template in your theme but it doesn't have a page in the back end of WordPress that you can then edit the content of that archive on. So for example, if you wanted to change the title of it or you wanted to have an introductory paragraph or even like a featured image as well, there's nowhere to actually edit that content. So uh, the solution we've come up with is a plugin we made and I'm gonna show you it now. Right, so I'm back at my desk and I thought I'd just do a quick demo of this uh, solution that we have and show you how it works. Uh, so let's let's get started. So this is a local install of WordPress on my laptop, and you can see that I have got a post type called Testimonials. That's a custom post type that's just been added very rough and ready. I've got two posts in it. And what I've done is I've got this plugin ready that we use called Post Type Archive Pages uh, ready to activate. So on the front end at slash testimonials, this is what you kind of get. Um, it's outputting the two testimonials that were in there, but it's using the default uh, template in your theme at the moment. So if we just jump into the editor here, you can see if I go into, I'm in the 2019 theme, it's gonna be using this one called archive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna save as, and if we pop the end of the post type name on the end, which is wpmark underscore testimonials, and then save that. Then if we just put some text in there, just to check that it's actually using that file on the front end, which it is, that's good. So what we can now do is make and make changes to this with uh, with our, our stuff that we want to make changes to. So remember the task was that we've got this archive page, but we don't have anywhere in the in WordPress to like change the title of this page, which is here. So it's just using the post type title if you like. So how we go about that is using this plugin. So yes, you can see testimonials is here. I'm going to activate our plugin, and what this does is it creates a post for each custom post type that has an archive set to, to true. So in testimonials, you'll now see we've got this archive page and you'll see it populates the title with the name of the post type, etc., etc. So what I'm going to do quickly is just add a few things to this. So I'm going to add an image and I'm going to add some text in the description. Now, if you're a developer, you might want to populate other fields on here using like advanced custom fields or something, and you can do that. So let's just update that page. Now, what we need to do uh, is to pull this information into the archive template. Now, and the pipeline for this is that the archive title that's output normally here is actually filterable. So my plan is to uh, filter this function and then pull in this title here, which then you won't have to do anything in here. But for now, we're gonna to have to make some changes to the code. So I'm just gonna comment out the original title. Oops. And in the plugins uh, folder, you will see there's a template functions file. And here we go, we've got loads of functions that's helpful. So this one here was one we use, it says get the post type archive title. So what we're gonna do is echo that. You'll need to sanitize it properly, of course, but I'm just gonna do it rough and ready. And then we're gonna pass it the post type that we wanna get a title of, which in this case is the testimonials. <clears throat> we'll save that. We'll go back to the website front end and save. And you can see it's pulled in the actual title now that's there. So if I do make a change and update that and then go back and refresh the front end, you can see it's pulling in, there we go, it's pulling in that title now. So I can now somewhere in the back end for the clients or for yourselves to edit that particular piece of content. But I can also do some other stuff. So I could pull in the featured image and I could pull in the content. So here's the content function. <clears throat> I'll just do this uh, lower down. So here we're just gonna uh, echo the content. Oops. And again, we're just gonna pass it the name of the post type. Testimonials. <clears throat> and then we could also pull in the featured image which is get to post type archive thumbnail. And again, you just pass it the post type you want to get the thumbnail for. You can pass it the size as well and attributes. It takes similar parameters to the uh, get the post thumbnail function. And we'll need to echo that out. And we'll pass in the name of our post type. We'll leave it as the default size for now. Save that and refresh the front end. And you can see we've got our uh, 
thumbnail here and we've got our text that came out in the content obviously this is all lead styling and putting in some proper elements and stuff like that so that's how we sort of uh, run our uh, system that we can amend those archive pages it works quite well it gives the client somewhere obvious it's inside the testimonial section in this case where they edit this content and it, it's worked quite well in the past so yeah some enhancements to come but hopefully that will give you an idea about how we go about it and hopefully that's helped helped you um this plug is on github it's um post up archive pages and uh, we'll hopefully get that launched shortly so that everyone can take advantage of it Anyway, for now, we'll uh, see you next time.